All right, we're gonna do some myofascial trigger point dry needling onto the extensors here for this lateral elbow pain. So as I've mentioned before, we are going to target or look at treating and needling this extensor carpi ulnaris. So in terms of having to find extensor carpi ulnaris, it's quite simple. So just get your clients to make a fist and then you'll get them to ulna deviate. So they're gonna go out like that. Let's just do that for us, Ali. So you should feel the muscle contract as they do that. That's how you'll know you're on extensor carpi ulnaris, okay? So what you see, the ulna bone's right here, so we're not gonna needle the ulna bone, okay? I think we all know that. So we're just gonna stick to the soft tissue of the extensor carpi ulnaris. All right, you can relax. Now, the needles we're using, okay, they're tubed, okay, so you've got the guide. I always tend to use these, and they're obviously not reusable they are disposable so you'll come with a little tab and put that in the sharps container okay so simply being with really effective dry needling okay trigger it's all about finding the trigger points and needling those it's not just about putting them anywhere okay so um with extensor carpi ulnaris you'll find that the trigger point is sort of a mid third way down from the elbow here is that tender through there Ali, about there. Okay, so once we locate the area, that's it there. I put two fingers either side of it, spread the skin so I know that's the area that I'm going to, place the guide over, and then just tap that in. Okay, and then it's just a matter of piercing through, picking up that trigger point, feel that there, and then we leave it. Okay, we don't need to agitate it. If you hit the right spot, let the needle do the rest. All right, so now I'm going to move a little bit further along and pick up any other associated sensitivities in that area as well. So you'll notice as I'm palpating that, you'll see the needle moving, that's all. So I'm gonna come short just the musculotendinous junction, once again, like so. And then we're gonna come a little bit third inferior down from the main trigger point. So just through here into there, Ali. Yep, back. So once again, in, okay? So that's all we need to do. If you find that they've got a lot of sensitivity on their grip in and around the extensor carpa radialis brevis, by all means, you can needle that area. You can needle other extensors, there's no no problems whatsoever with that, but we obviously just look at needling the extensor carpi ulnaris because that's the one that we tend to see most commonly reproducing their elbow pain. We also have the triceps here and treatment into the triceps in and around for elbow pain is also by far a number one do not forget. Okay, so triceps will refer into the elbow, we also have the little muscle that sits out here, which is the end kinesis as well. So that's another secondary lot of muscles. Once the needles, we've just jiggled them about and they're not feeling any, any more sensitivity, that will lead us to think, well, okay, the needles have been in long enough. So simply put, all we need to do, take them out straight into the sharps container, like so, and then always follow up with some soft tissue work as well, okay? So not unlike how we started. A Little bit of wrist extension, bring over a broad forearm, and then work through that extensor, carpi ulnaris. Like so, okay. So that's dry needling for the extensor carpi ulnaris and associated other extensors as well. As I mentioned before, we've also got the triceps through here as well. They will also refer into the elbow. So that is another part of our treatment sequence as well.